Morgan, I want to begin by asking you, this seems like a no-brainer for yeah. you to make this type of a documentary. And the marriage of you working with Harry Knowles, Stan Lee, yeah. Joss Whedon, it, it seems like a marriage made in geek heaven. Could you yeah. talk about uh, no, coming together in the genesis of the project? Well, I, I feel like you know to, to be able to pull together this geek de dream team was the only way the movie got made. They never would have let me make this movie by myself. Like if I had gone to San Diego Comic Con and say I want to make a movie about about Comic Con, they'd be like, Oh no, he's gonna like, wh he's, what's he trying to expose? He's you feel gonna... like you needed Stan and Joss and those I, names I, to kind of validate. I think it gave I think it gave a level of credibility to the fact that they believed this was a good story. They believed that I was going to tell a good story. And I think that made Comic-Con have faith. You know, this is, this is a big business, you know. So at the same time, they don't want to have something that's going to jeopardize that uh, for them. And for me, as, as, a, as a geek and as a fan, I wanted to make sure that we made a film that was true to the fans and honest to the fans. And that was, that was my number one, one goal from the beginning. How did you decide and find the, the sort of the stories to follow, the people to follow, like Holly, to yeah. follow? Well, and months before we were going, we started putting out casting notices. We probably got 2,000 video submissions from people all around the world who said, I want to be in the film. Here's my story. Here's why you should follow me. And one of those was Holly. And, you know, we continued to whittle it down, whittle it down until we had the 10 characters that we actually followed in the film. Did you know you wanted different, like, you wanted a cosplay person, you wanted someone who actually Absolutely. sold comics? That's right. We, you know, we knew we wanted a comic book vendor. We knew we wanted somebody who was coming to prevent, present their portfolios to, for review, you know, to break into the comic book industry. We knew we wanted somebody who was making a costume for the masquerade. You know, we have a cosplayer in Elodia, you know, who's in the film. She's from the Philippines. She is a professional cosplayer and travels around the world doing that. We, we Anthony Calderon, the collector, whose, you know, room is filled with toys and his wife doesn't quite get it and he makes his own action figures. So we wanted to have somebody who kind of represented each piece of the puzzle of Comic-Con. Yeah. Uh, now, Holly, as a longtime geek myself, I have to say <laughs> that cosplay has always been sort of a category that I'm not that familiar with. And I've always been very fascinated with it. Could you talk a little bit, and you talk about it in the film, but your interest in it and why you've gone to such, you know, <laughs> lengths to do this. Um, well, I mostly, I mean, it comes from my passion for the games and the characters, honestly. And I, you know, I'm also, I have special effects artists, I do other stuff like that. So I just happen to have this background to say, you know, I can actually make a suit of armor and I can actually have my talented friends come in and help me make an animatronic Krogan. And it just so happened that I had a passion for Mass Effect and I just decided, hey guys, let's, get together and dress up as these characters and suspend reality for that moment to actually just go out and be them on stage. And it's really just for the fun of it and for the passion of it. And why Mass Effect? Is that just the game, the characters that you love the most? Are there other things that you would do cosplay with? Oh yeah, I have done other cosplay in the past. Yeah, I actually dressed up as a character from D&D &D once. <laughs> like, I've done lots of lots of nerdy costumes before, and uh, Mass Effect just happened to be, you know, it's one of my favorite games, and Bioware is one of my favorite companies. They make RPGs, and I just, you know, I had the passion to be the character. I was like, you know what, she's cool. I want to be her for a couple days, and that's, you know, Kind of where it starts. You know every nerd that sees this movie is going to completely fall in love with you, right? <laughs> you, you know that, right? They already have. They already no, have. No, they yeah. already have. I've, I've seen Holly be stalk I get stalked now at, uh, at screenings. It's, it's, the fan it's mail for, awesome. for you get Holly's fan mail. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I can go back in time and tell like the eleven-year-old me like, one day not only do you go to Comic Con, you go to Comic Con every year, so much so that like you get greeted by Stan Lee when you show up. <laughs> And the 11-year-old me would be like, how did we get so fat?